Uh, hi, my name is Matt Lozano, and uh, I auditioned for the role of uh, Big Bird. Ayan, and uh, una, sobrang natakot ako nun kasi si Direk Bird agad yung nakaharap sa akin. So, medyo kinabahan. Pero, direct prepared naman ako. No? Kasi nag-ano ako, nag-training ako before mag-audition. So, at kumain. <laughs> Um, for me po, um, so I play the role po of Jamie Robinson. Um, actually po, wala po sa plano kong mag-audition because, I mean, I saw the project during the New Year countdown. I saw the trailer, the very first trailer po. And of course, it caught my attention. Pero never ko naisip na possible na maging parte po ako ng project na to. Until one day, um, it just so happened, you know, destiny, na nasa GMA ako on one of the last days of um, auditions for Jamie. And sinubukan ko lang po, and I never expected po na sobrang magbabago po yung buhay ko because of the show, and sobrang hindi ko nire-regret the day na nag-audition po ako for this role. Thank you. Uh, hello po, my name is Radson Torres po. Uh, I'm playing Mark Gordon po here in Botas 5. And uh, yes, I auditioned din po. Um, I entered this room and ano, uh, it was full of boys na talaga na ang dami po talaga nag audition for Mark and Steve. And uh, I didn't expect na I would get a call back. And nagulat na lang po when I was called for the second screening. Kasama ko na po dun si Miguel and si Isabel na rin po. So, ayun po, sobrang uh, happy po and proud po talaga for that moment. Ako, hindi ko po yung expect na ako yung mapipili bilang Steve Armstrong. Kasi way back, alam ko nang may gagawin na Voltest 5. And alam ko na may naririnig na rin ako sinasabi sa akin na ito yung actor na gaganap siya. So, ako parang, okay, sige. Pass na muna tayo sa role na to. Pero at the back of my head, parang sabi ko, sarap maging Steve Armstrong ha. Parang isa yun sa magiging pangarap kong role. And then, biglang binalita sa akin na ako na daw yung Steve. Parang ayaw kong, ayaw kong palampasin yung big opportunity na yun na binigay sa akin. Kaya ginrab ko na agad na, game, tara, gawin na natin. Sira. Hello po, ako po si Rafael Ondicho. At I'm playing Little John Armstrong po. Naaminin ko po, hindi po ako nag-audition kaya sobrang, <laughs> kaya sobrang thankful ko po sa GMA Network sa mga boss natin. Kasi po, nagtiwala po sila sa akin na sa to be part of this huge project. Nintay po ako ni, ni Derek Mark, like one year? Ah, two years? Diba? Ah, two years. Kaya, kaya binos ko po talaga lahat ng best ko para sa huge project na to. Thank you. Uh, quick rundown lang. Uh, the best thing I could remember is that when I saw Radson in Starstruck, I said, there's my Mark Gordon. Okay? He, he looked it. He looked, he looked like the anime. The, the kilay and, and all. So I wanted him to audition. So I was biased already. But serendipity runs in this whole production for so many reasons. One is, what were the chances that Radson already knew how to ride a horse since he was a young boy. So we didn't have to make him do, go through training. So once we had the scenes with the horse, it was second nature to ride. So uh, Miguel, you know, he grew up in my eyes with all our projects. And then when the, the network was saying, was eyeing him for Steve uh, uh, Armstrong, it was like a shoe in a, yeah, he fits the part. See, see uh, Isabel, I mean, I was looking for a, you know, tough act on Jamie Robinson, you know. She is a, you know, she is a kick-ass girl, you know. But if you know her lineage, I mean, that says it all. So, when it is, she took up gymnastics and then she took up martial arts training to, uh, prior to our, you know, when we started. So she, she really delivered us Jamie Robinson. Like what Trap said, he was a shoe-in. Uh, we didn't have time to audition, but he was the he was the apple of the eye of of, of the of GMA management, and he was given basically he was given the role of Little John, and I definitely agreed, you know. So there's no problem. <coughs> see, see Matt, I, I knew him because I I know his mother. We worked with so many projects, you know, behind the camera. But when he auditioned, and I know he was determined and he was training, 
and he was not a, a big bird at that time. He was a bit big, but not as hefty as we need. So when he got the part, Matt, this is the best thing I'm going to tell any actor. Eat. Eat all you want. So, you know, so he fits the role as, as Big Bird. You know, but uh, I know he's going to shed these pounds after Volta's five because he's been dying to lose weight. And then we have, you know, uh, bonus na lang, na they all sing, you know. So uh, Matt singing the My Father's theme song at the end. Uh, he's doing that. Uh, and then we're at I Crystal to sing the love theme also. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're multi-talented cast. So it was very uh, fun for, for us to cast. You know, ang hirap eh, kung iconic yung character in anime, how do you, how do you, how does that transfer to live action? Gabby was easy. People were saying that Gabby is not old enough to play uh, Commander Robinson. Yeah, but he just, he just has a baby face, but he has how many children already? And you know, and then there was this Japanese reaction video. The minute that he came out, there go, Oka, Oka, Oka. That's the name of General Robinson in the Japanese uh, version. So automatic, they they, they knew. Then Neil Ryan says, eh, the Alamat. We like to finally call him the Alamat. The minute that I was looking for Dr. Hook, Miss Helen knows it, I was listening to any other name because I knew Neil was going to be able to deliver that part for Dr. Hook. You know, with uh, Carla again, she was also, we wanted her, and of course with Dennis. But it was so funny, uh, actually uh, in God's time, eh, uh, Dennis was still doing uh, Legal Wives. No? So, eh, mag-uumpisa na kami, aabot na kami sa part ng Dr. Armstrong. And then there was more pandemic uh, uh, alert levels. Na-delay nang na-delay yung shoot until pwede na. So pwede na si Dennis. So we were able to shoot the first part of our uh, Dr. Armstrong. And then there were more delays that happened. He took on uh, Chrysostomo Ibarra in Maria Clara and Ibarra. So we had to wait. We, we just needed it for one more day to finish the, the, the series. So ganyan po kalayong inabot ng Voltus 5 na may, may tatlong shows nang dumaan until bumalik si, si Dennis sa amin para masarado. You know, and then uh, Martin again was a shoe in The minute that he, he auditioned for Zardos, I said, oh, hahanap pa ba tayo iba? Ayan, oh. You know, it was, it was easy. His monologue, you know, it was hard. It's hard to be a bad guy, but people will have to have empathy with you. He was able to deliver that monologue, sure ball. L Lizelle was, she was like flirting with me the entire process, so she got the part. You know? uh, she was sexy and also she got the part, definitely. Of course, she delivered with the acting, of course. Carlo, uh, we needed someone tall, and then I didn't want to go uh, too cliche in the anime, uh, dark and then goonish type, see, you know, see Draco. Uh, so I said, the the, the Buzenia, especially the, the elite Buzenia, mga mistis at mistis ayan. So we got Carlo for the part. Then he worked out so bad before the part, before we started. Talagang todo yan, patak na patak yan. Then he saw his costume. Nothing was seen in his body. He said, ninong naman eh, wala pa lang may kita dito eh. Eh okay, at least you're in shape. You know, and then, uh, last of the principal characters, Epi. Epi was a shoe-in. Uh, no other person that in mind also that I wanted to do Zul. And you should see Epi. The chemistry of Epi with, with uh, these three, ang saya, ang sarap panoorin ng, uh, ng uh, mga Buzenians. Kaya nga sabi ko eh, uh, you will love to hate them, but you will hate for, you, you, you'll hate yourself for loving them. Because ang ganda ng chemistry nila.